Paul, he's coming back right on the street. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> yeah, here's the host. Um, uh, hi. hi, Babs. I'm back. Hi. <laughs> I'm with Mackenzie. Mackenzie's, um, believe it or not, while we were sleeping, this is actually the warm hour for Mackenzie. She had the night nice shift at Yale New Haven. And now she was just that where you tell them brunch. Do you go with your uh, people you work with? Yep, most of the time we, we do a morning brunch, you know, just got to end the night on a good note. So what were you doing overnight, Mackenzie? Working. Um, uh, we all work in the surgical ICU at Yale Haven Hospital. Oh, wow. What do you do there? Um, well, we're all nurses, um, so pretty much anything that entails. So like assessments, passing out medications, basically keeping people safe. Mm -hmm. you, seems like you still have energy. Do you still pumped up after the... I, I do. I am very pumped up. I got my second, third, fourth wind, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> what, hour, what hours with the shift? Um, so it starts at 6.45, and we usually get out around like 7.30 a.m. So That's we work 12-hour shift. shifts, yeah. Four days, three days a week? Three days a week, unless we decide to pick up overtime. Did you? Uh, this week, I did not. Next week, I did not. Yeah. And so you're done with the shift, 7.45. And are you guys feeling you don't ready to hit the sack? You want to go to breakfast? <laughs> Well, um, it was a long week for all of us, so we decided at the beginning of the week that we were going to do brunch on Friday morning just to kind of celebrate some of the new nurses and, like, what they've accomplished. And also for the end of the week, like, would you not do it if it weren't the last day? Well, we wouldn't do it on a Monday because Bella's is not open on Mondays. Oh, you know about Bella's. Yeah. How often do you guys go there? Uh, a lot. <laughs> but what I meant is that was your third of the three days yeah. for the week? Yep, yep. So I'm for on your the weekend. Group. And what kind of, is there a title for the kind of nurse you are? Or uh, what just unit registered you're in? nurse. And, um. It's a surgical ICU, so we take anything from like car accidents, like traumas, um, to um, any kind of like surgery, abdominal surgery, anything like that. And what did you have at Bella's this morning? What's your favorite? Well, I'm I kind of lame. I'm on, a, I'm on a little bit of a diet, so I had scrambled eggs, but I really love the bananas, Foster French toast. Is it possible to be on a diet at Bella's? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not about overnight, Mackenzie. Did anything big happen overnight? Anything no. unusual? No. Nothing like unusual. what kind of people are coming in? Well, that I can't really talk about. Right, I don't mean like, individual. But more just like um the usual, a lot of traumas. And it's New Haven, so we get a lot of crazy things. People and, making bad choices. And That's how great. many people were with you at brunch? Uh, there was seven of us total. Is that the usual <sighs> nurse brunch? Could be more, could be less. You never it's that know. many. Yeah. And is it once a week at Bella's that you can all go? Um, it's whenever we can all kind of muster the energy to get there. So yeah. it's it's intermittently. So when was the last time? Uh, it's been a while because with like COVID and all the restrictions and everything, um, it's it's probably been a couple of months since we went. A couple of months. Mm -hmm. So it's not really a regular thing. It's a special thing. It used to be more regular, but then COVID happened, kind of slowed everything down, unfortunately. But I, I'm hoping it's picking back up now. So, so yeah. it's a special. Why is it special for you after working hard? What does it mean to go out with your colleagues? It's, it's the camaraderie, you know, and that like we all like use each other to decompress and like, you know, make it through the shift. Like we see a lot of very sad, hard things. And you know, it's just nice to go out with your, your friends and decompress. How many years have you been in nursing, Mackenzie? Uh, almost seven. How do you like it? I love it. Why? Yeah, I, I like helping people. Um, in the ICU, I especially love seeing when people get better. It's really awesome um, to see people recover and go and on. This on York lives. Street. Yes. Yeah. Babs, do you have any questions for Mackenzie? Oh my gosh. So, what would you say to somebody who is considering becoming a nurse? Because we hear all kinds of things about how hard it is and how maybe there's a nursing shortage and nurses are perhaps leaving the profession. It's um, it's an extremely rewarding job. Um, it's definitely hard though. I would tell um, people in nursing school that if you're going for the money, then that's the wrong reason to do it. Um, it's really, it's, it's really something you have to be passionate about in order to stick with because it's, it's a very difficult job. We, we see people on their worst days. Um, but like I said, very rewarding if um, you're doing it for the right reasons. Is there a day you could remember that you'll, you, that you'll never forget as a nurse that tells you why you do it or what's involved? Um, like a defining moment that you've had in your career. Truthfully, I would say going to the ICU is probably a bit of a defining moment for me. You get a lot more autonomy in um, the ICU. Um, you're really doing a lot more um, critical thinking. Um, so back in August when I first started at the ICU, I would say that was the Where were you thing. before? Uh, I worked at Yale, but I was on trauma and surgery, which is like more of a floor step down. Um, what does step down mean? 
step downs between a floor and an ICU. So it's when you require a little bit more care, but your acuity isn't high enough for the ICU. And was ICU your choice, like a big challenge? Yes. Or, okay. Yes. And there's a nursing shortage, so it must be kind of stressful even before we had COVID. Um, yes, a little bit stressful. A lot of the baby boomers are retiring, but um, I would say the ICU is probably slightly less stressful. I, I, really? My That's heart goes surprise. out to like the med surge nurses because um, having been a med surge nurse for a long time, you, you get a lot more patients. Um, you're dealing with uh, just, you know, a lot of people on their worst days. And like, it's, it's hard because you want to be there emotionally for everybody. Whereas like, you just don't have the capacity all the time to do that. So it's a little bit harder, I think, for the med surge nurses, but um, ICU is still difficult, but we, we make it work. And how did you do with COVID? We all consider you our heroes, you know, oh. for being there. Did you get COVID? Uh, I had it twice, actually. Um, I'm completely vaccinated on like all the boosters that I can have. But the um, first time you had it, was that before the boosters? Uh, the no, it's actually after. And I, I really wasn't that sick. So I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm I a had big that proponent. too. I'm a big, big proponent for the vaccine. But early on, you folks, before there was a vaccine mm -hmm. and we didn't know a lot about disease, you were the people facing it every day. Yeah. How did, how did you avoid getting it? Um, mostly just following the safety protocols that were set up by the hospital. I mean, the hospital really did its best to try to make sure that we had the proper protective equipment and, you know, taking precautions. Um, my mom's a nurse, so I grew up always being really good about washing my hands, things like that. Um, it was more just scary for our families, I think. None of us wanted to, you know. Do you have a family them. at home? Yeah, my, more so my parents. They're very high risk. So before the vaccine came out, I kind of tried to avoid them. Do you just, live with them? No, 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 not anymore. But, um, and did you become a nurse because your mom's a nurse? Uh, you know, actually, I or did you say no way growing, growing up? I never thought I would have been a nurse because I was very um, squeamish. But then as I got older and um, I found that I really enjoyed taking care of people and like being there for people, it just sort of happened. But that's um, awesome. Yeah. Any more before we let Mackenzie warm? Oh, what are you gonna do the rest of today? What, what's um, next? I am probably gonna go home and take a nap. Just a nap. Yeah, and then um, start my normal my normal weekend. And then do you then try to sleep regular hours? Yep. Is that hard when you're working overnight? Um, it took a lot of years, but I've been working nights for a lot of years, so you kind of get used to it. It's maybe not the healthiest thing, but um, it helps to try to get on a normal schedule as fast as possible. Well, I hear that from cops too, and you work at overnight. Yeah. There's no such thing as normal or unhealthy. It's like, how do you roll with it? Yeah, it is what it is. So does it, am I right in hearing that when you work overnight, it's three nights a week, so you try with the other days to make it a nap? Yeah. So that the overnight, you can get to a regular kind of schedule? Yeah, and most hospitals are pretty great in the sense that they'll try to cluster your shifts so that, you know, if you're working nights, you'll be like three in a row, and then you'll be off for a bunch so that you have time to get back. Well, your energy is awesome. After three, anything left fast, you will let the kids you go no i i love her energy i was like what you got great energy for a nurse i love energetic nurses thank you for your <laughs> service <laughs> okay well thanks babs have Bye. a great weekend Stay have warm. a good weekend and, and mackenzie signing off with babs on love talk love babs love talk and w oh my god i love nurses i had some good nurses that took care of me for both my both my um my hip surgeries uh very nice nurses honest to god nice nurses so high five to nurses and to do that overnight shift woo! but you know what listen don't be in these streets tomorrow nurse because it's gonna be cold so you know get to the grocery store get all your snacks and then just netflix and chill <laughs>